Hi all, my name is Philip and I'm going to do a quick uh, demo on how to install Escozia PBX. Um, for this demo I'm going to use uh, a virtual environment, um, so I'm going to use uh, VirtualBox. Um, right, so where you get the uh, ISO from is Escozia PBX, that's uh, like Escozia.com. Um, just click on the uh, downloads link like that and there's the, the latest um, downloads. Um, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded it, so I'm just going to start my um, little virtual box up and then we'll get installing it. So as you can see, um, when you put the CD into your computer for the first time, um, you'll see uh, the bootloader and the CD loader um, load up and you'll see uh, loads of stuff coming down your screen. Um, and then it should come to um, a console with about eight options. Um, so obviously I've got this is VirtualBox, so I've got no um, USB or anything installed. So I'm just going to press Enter on that. And then what it's going to do is carry on loading. And there we go. There's the Escozia PBS uh, PBX um, console setup. So to, in order to set this up, uh, we have to first um, install it. So that's option eight. The device I'm going to install it on is just the VirtualBox hard drive um, and obviously you can see I've got uh, 256 meg uh, of RAM or space on the drive so I'm just going to enter AD0 to install it on that one and yes I want to install it and as you can see it says it's installing it uh, copying configuration done and then it's going to go ahead and restart the computer it, or in this case it's going to restart my um, VirtualBox and there we go. So I'm just going to remove the uh, CD, CD drive now. There we go. So I've removed that. So hopefully it should now be running from the uh, the hard drive. And there we go. So this is now installed on the hard drive. Uh, if you notice that option 8 is um, no longer there. Um, it's just uh, the asterisk um, console. So what I'm going to do now is just set it up on my network. So I'm going to set up um, the IP address for this uh, test box as 192.168.200.60 and it's a 24-bit subnet. My LAN gateway is 192.168.200.1 my DNS is also the same and no I don't want to revert the um, well actually yes I do want to revert to HTTP um, and hopefully we should now be able to access the web GUI from that IP address there which is 192.168.200.60 so if I load um, Firefox up and we go to um, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.200.60 there we go so we can see that uh, it's installed and uh, it's now asking me for the password by default it should be admin and Ascozia PBX or it's admin and Ascozia there we go. So the default is uh, admin and Escozia and then you can see the uh, the welcome screen. Uh, if you've watched my tutorials on Monowall then you'll realize that this is actually uh, based on Monowall, um, the actual web config anyway. The, uh, the PBX itself is based on um, asterisk. So there we go, we can see that um, it's now installed and we can begin uh, doing some basic um, configuration settings or basic configuration of the system um, so we can change the host name to uh, I don't know, um, PBX1 uh, add it to our domain uh, just by typing in the domain name there um, it doesn't actually appear on your domain it's just if you have a domain um, then you can type it in there you can change the um, admin username you can type in your own custom password um, and things like that um, on this page you can set if you want to change the IP address or anything or change the gateway 
um, or the DNS servers you can do. Um, when you install this for the first time um, you'll have to uh, set up some phones um, so I'm just going to set a quick one up now. Uh, there will be a tutorial later on uh, to demo how to set uh, different phones and providers up but uh, I'm just going to set a, a quick one up now for you so I'm just going to click on um, SIP and we'll configure a SIP um, extension on this box. Okay so we're going to do uh, extension 100 uh, do if you want a, a caller ID then we can have um, Phil's test phone whoops Phil's test phone even uh, we can have a password uh, if you have enabled voicemail um, again we'll come on to this in a later video but you can if you set an email address here you'll get an email notification with um, a little WAV file with um, your voicemail attached uh, the, here is the codex um, that you can have for this extension. Um, I normally ju just drag uh, G711 ULaw and G711 ALaw and uh, G722 and G729A um, because I know that with some PBXs, um, they're, you know, some IP PBXs, they, those are the codecs that they would use. Um, so let's just uh, click. Add a description, Phil's phone, and then click on OK. Or oh, even save. And there we can go. So we've configured one phone, uh, we've installed the box, and we can now, if we had a phone, we could configure the phone um, and you know, play around and dial different things. Um, OK, so that was a little quick uh, installation uh, tutorial on how to get um, a SCOZIA PBX. Uh, installed and the configuration of uh, one telephone extension. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please stick around for more. Um, I will be doing a website and uh, doing some more tutorials to put on there to do with um, Escozia PBX and also putting up uh, all the tutorials that I've done for um, Monowar and anything else that uh, I happen to find. So uh, please have a look on the website for those.